I just glued down the label, which is the last thing you do before you start to attach the top, which we will do next. The bracing on the top of the guitar, several of them I've left long. You can see the upper transverse and the X brace extend past the body or past the edge of the top. The reason you leave them long is so you can mark where they come out past the body of the guitar. There's the bottom end of the X brace. And then you go in and you mark on that tape there where those uh, braces extend. I'll then take a, um, a, a saw and I'll cut a little kerf and then I'll take a Dremel and I will route that out and try to be as close to the same depth as the of the brace as possible. And that way you line your, your top up and it locks into place. So you can see that these little slots that I routed out, the brace fits through there, comes all the way through on those and on this side right here. And it's the same on the other side. And my center lines are lined up. So the top is now ready to be glued on. Now that the top has been fitted to the body, it's time to attach it. And the way you do that is I'm going to put glue around the kerfing here and in the little slots that I've routed. And then to put downward pressure on it, I'm gonna use this big pile of bicycle tubes. Years ago, I went to a shop in Mansfield, bicycle shop, and I asked the guy if he had any old um, tire tubes, and he said he had a room full of them. So I took three or four of them and split them down the middle, tied them together, and made this one gigantic rubber band. And what I'll do is with the top on there, I will stretch this across, tie it as tight as I can, and that will hold the downward pressure to attach the top. I've got it strapped down and we'll leave it like this for 
I don't know, hour, hour and a half. And then we will trim the sides and the top will be attached. Now that the top has been glued to the body, I need to flush trim it. So you can see that the, the top, it, it, it's a little bit wider in spots than the body. So what I'm gonna do is use a flush bit on my router and I'm going to trim this up. top is attached. So another major step has been accomplished here. You can see that the, uh, well, here's how it looks, how the body looks with the top and back atta attached. And you can see after the router, it's flush. There's still a lot of cleanup to have to be done, but I'm very pleased with where we are so far. So the next step is to install the purfling and the binding. And that's the decorative piece that, that runs along the edge. And it's more than decorative. The purfling is decorative. The binding is really to help um, further strengthen the, the glue joint for the, of the side and the top and to add some protection. So if you were to drop it on the side, it's not hitting, you know, this is in grain. The grain on this top runs this way. And if you drop this or hit it on the corner, it would ding real, real easy. So the binding offers protection as well as um, uh, decoration. So that's it for attaching the top. We're gonna now move on to installing the binding.